on eSports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Chicago Bears. Coming up next. They say summer is the time to live in Chicago. Well, that's extended into autumn as we are ready to roll under blue skies at Soldier Field. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Chicago Bears. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white lines. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yes, yeah, a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for the thank you for the notice. Here's the former Cornhusker, Brett Maher, to get this one started. And off we go from Soldier Field. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And, boys, he got the full package. Loves the game. Big-time arm. 4-4 speed. So good that another quarterback prospect said to him, what's it feel like to run 4-4? Everybody wants to be that fast. Starting on the ground with Herbert. They'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Another carry for Herbert on second down. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Back to throw, Fields. That is caught. And he will have the Bears first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. No score after one on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. As they've got it with a first and ten. Herbert now on the option. And he takes this up right near the 45. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Field's going to hurry his guys to the line. From the 45 on second down, Fields. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. 
Fields on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 45-yard line. And they get 10 yards there and convert on third. There it is, the staple of most teams' playbooks, the angle route. A lot of times you want to take away that inside route by a back, but when they sell it like he's going to the flat, and it's tough on inside line. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Well, Aaron Donald just so strong they can't block him, and he records the sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Throwing on second and long. Fields. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Let's go out there. Let's go out there. Let's go. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive. But this is third down. Draw play, a give to Herbert. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So many things go into making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start and then a nice tackle to finish things off. The fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through, and we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They won in six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope. The good things are in store here. speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. Leading the charge at quarterback, the former Georgia Bulldog, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick throughout his career. He's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And shutting the tackle, and now some room. And yeah, we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. The final shot before the break, Stanford. Too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. So we've hit halftime here in what obviously is a very fast-moving first half of play. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. If you missed the first half, there's not much to get you caught up on. Just the lone field goal accounting for the entirety of the scoring. A 3-0 game to this point, 
as both defenses have been strong so far. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Just one field goal in a tightly played first half as we resume action here in quarter number three. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And maybe time for this offense to really hit the reset button. They were shut out in the first half, but still, they're right in this game. They certainly are. What I like about it is that you actually continue to play. You know, you just find a way to make a few plays yourself, and you noted it. Right there on the border in this game, they're not that far off. Just got to find a play or two, and they could be very happy at that point. They start the second half here with Williams. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Well, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Unique and Gakway. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a Good one right now, hotly contested in the third quarter. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. They'll come up now, third and nine. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now throwing on third down there, but he can't connect. Barber, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. For you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. We have to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it'll be a turnover. Take to the air, which really isn't a major surprise, but how about the coverage there? Able to bat it down. We gotta have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Defense, 
Herbert powering up the middle. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. All eyes on fields. And this is caught. Touchdown, Chicago. And one is St. Brown. 37 yards. And the Bears get an important score there to extend their lead here this fourth quarter. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-zip. So they only need three plays on that drive. And it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. Touchdown. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So now Stafford and the Rams. Down 10-0. A minute 38 to go. They've yet to score all game long, but now they need to do so twice in short order to have a shot. Now it's Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here comes second down. Stafford. Finding out. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And that's caught by Williams. But at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Stafford slow here, hauled in by Cup. The Rams are going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Here's first down. Now Stafford. Going up top for Cup. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Oh, this defense has been so stingy all game long. No reason to think it's suddenly going to open up now. They took their shot, but this, like many others, falls incomplete. Another try, second and ten now. Stafford now to throw. Complete. 
Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Well, this crowd is making an impact right now. Third and ten. To throw is Stafford. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, and look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. So that'll do it for us.